everybody i'm going to present you today how to make a rechargeable led led flashlight super easy super bright and also long lasting yeah so very long lasting like uh, six seven hours all right for this project the main thing you all know what this is this is a usb power bank it's very no skills required man this is cheap one you can find this one between two dollars and four and whatever but we chosen for this project the cheapest one so this one it's supposedly come on due to focus all right this one is supposed to be like uh, 1200 milliamps 5 volts and the flashlight we're gonna use this you know flash key finder as you can see it says here tap me as you tap it it's gonna have light all right we're gonna proceed to strip it out so inside there is a thing like this as you tap it it makes light yeah all right so nothing special till now all right then so this brings me the stuff we're gonna proceed by tearing apart this stuff very fast i don't know i don't want to take your time i don't is very precious all right so we're gonna dismantle it okay we do have two three volts battery so it's gonna be plus and minus here all right okay inside here we do have plus as you can see the bigger part is going to be plus and this one is going to be minus all right so let's try to open it up not quite working ah fuck it for this one i did pay like uh, 50 cents so it's worth breaking it apart <laughs> i'm gonna enjoy it as well oh. Oh yeah, come on, Ooh. fucking tight, alright, come on, and watch out as well, as you're breaking plastic, can have uh, like sharp corners and all that stuff, so be very careful, yeah, okay, we need to manage to open the stuff, and inside, ta-da, two powerful leds switch and this one is supposed to be like a tilt ah, actually has inside it has a spring kind of see all right fuck it doesn't matter we managed to attach all right let's so basically this uh, key finder this led supposed to be working with uh, six volts but it has here a resistor so we're gonna try our luck with the all our trusted nine volt battery so as i told you before this is the plus terminal and this is the negative terminal so we're gonna do like this it's not doing because I'm not attaching. No. Not. No. Not doing it. Let's see. All right, folks. So we did remove the tilting stuff. So we do have to solder this connection, or as I'm gonna do it now with a simple alligator clip, like so. And here you go, folks. We do have light. We're not gonna exaggerate with the 9 volt battery, but we're gonna proceed now to solder some wires. On this terminal, it's gonna be plus, and this one is gonna be minus. And we're gonna solder in between then because it's a open connection here. All right, we're gonna be back after we get we did solder the wires. All right, folks, we are back. We did manage to solder some wires okay blue is gonna be the negative 
and yellow is gonna be the positive so we're gonna put it one more time to the battery we do have light box how about that huh okay so this has enough fun all right now as i told you previously the usb power bank mm, more or less this one usually came with this kind of adapter for charging and uh, connecting the load so we're gonna cut this one in half and we're gonna keep just the usb connection i do have it already cut here so usb as you can see <clears throat> it's got two terminals positive and negative so we're gonna connect them to the led to our flashlight our led flashlight in emergency case like so there you go watch out do not touch the wires do not make a short because you can ruin your power bank and also the leds so we're gonna connect them straight away fingers crossed come on stop there you go folks there you go we do have lights from an usb power bank with the tiny led that we managed to find in a key in a flash key finder yeah all right so let's uh, put in some measurements we're gonna bring in the trusty multimeter to see if this one is gonna be all right for our project or not we're gonna put a multimeter in amp reading like so we're gonna disconnect the plus side uh, so we're gonna connect the multimeter this is just a raw setup have to be careful okay so we do have a uh, light as i told you and the current now is 0 0.09 amps that means 90 amps in this configuration normally if the battery the 18650 that's inside the lithium lithium ion battery that's inside the power bank is gonna be as they say like 1200 milliamps it's gonna last us 12 hours but to be realistical in this configuration is gonna last like six or seven hours i did try it for five hours no problem the same light the same intensity all the stuff are right uh, rocks we're gonna be back after we're gonna put some scotch tape in between them to not make a short and uh, you know a drill all right folks we are back with the emergency led light rechargeable one you can see uh, the output is very all right we're gonna shut down now all the lights to see you very nice what is the actual power of it so we did manage to shut up one light and the other now all right so there you have it folks this is the bench power supply you see you can read that if you can read that that means this is very powerful not gonna light the room but it's gonna do the trick in a camping situation on your car on off-grid situation and other emergency stuff this is very good very cheap you don't have to buy leds you know to spend two or three bucks on it when you can buy a uh, piece of stuff like this <laughs> and you're gonna have light so very cheap very useful in the meanwhile share the fun thumbs up subscribe leave the comment below but you don't have nothing to comment on this one it's gonna be very easy very dumb proof but check out my other videos and stay tuned from now on we're gonna make like a series i do have some project with arduino coming and more stuff as soon as i'm gonna discover them i'm gonna post it right away i don't keep nothing for myself i'm gonna share all the discovery and all the fun thanks all for watching see you next time in the meanwhile have lights one again yeah no skills required man this is it